And so we had no problem here in Baja. But I didn't live here in Baja at that time. And so many American tourists ask me about my experience during the war. I think you have in your heart when you come from America, Holocaust and World War II. Yeah? And you have some questions in your heart and you don't dare to ask. Yeah? And so I like to answer your unasked questions. Yeah? Is, it, is it like that? Yeah. Maybe, yeah. yeah. Uh, of course, I lived not, I lived in, in middle Germany at that time. Of course, I was lying to an air raid together with my mother on the stomach on the floor of the basement. And while the bombs were dropping and the anti-aircraft were shooting, I prayed to God, oh God, when you get me out here alive, I will believe that you exist. I made a deal with God. And then I was astonished when they came out after the air raid that the house was still standing. It was in the night before my confirmation. The next day we had confirmation and there was a girl missing. She was buried on her broken down house. Yeah? But the most terrible experience for me was to watch the fightings in the air. There were hundreds of bombers, like a moving carpet, and a few German fighters among them. And I still hear the roaring of the motors and the shooting of the gun. And they were killing each other. And we stood there, are you mad? What are you doing? Stop doing this, please. You had to watch how they killed each other. Yeah. Imagine you are going on the road, and there's a man with a knife, and she stabs, you fall down, you are dead, and you stand here, and cannot prevent it. Yeah. You had to watch how they killed each other. Not like in movie, really. Yeah. It was so terrible. And then I thought only the enemies can die. In all the wars, only the enemies can die. Yeah. And then we saw a German fighter coming down with two burning motors. He tried to land on the field, and they hit a high-tension electric line and there was a lightning and nothing else and a handful of metal and the pilots. Then we heard that an American bomber had come down, and we took our bicycles. And I was a specialist in, in identifying the different types of planes, even by hearing. And I saw two large wings to the right side and to the left side, and the Third wing upright. I've never seen a plane with a wing upright. I couldn't imagine it was only the tail section of the whole plane. The whole plane was some hundred meters farther anywhere in the forest. And then I saw a very narrow tunnel where the gunman laid before. He had a machine gun, of course. Yeah? And he laid before with his stomach on ammunition. Ammunition there and there and there. I thought, what happens when this explodes? And then I saw the gunman laying on the grass, and he was dead. A young boy, maybe 18, and there was a mother crying in America, and I couldn't write her a letter to tell her that I saw her son lying in the grass, and that he had a quick death, and where he died, and how he died, and when he died. It could have been a help for the mother when she knew that there was a German boy standing at the dead body of her son, mourning, instead of 